Today, we are going to be balancing the equation of C387CHOHCHC2H5CH2OH plus O2, which will yield CO2 plus H2O. Now, I already wrote down um, our little balancing cheat sheet here, as well as the elements that I see on both the left and the right side, but this is absolutely atrocious. So if we can just simplify this into just carbon, hydrogen, and oxygen, those are literally only the three elements that I see in this whole compound. It will make it much easier. So let's see, how many carbons do we have? Well, we have three here, so we have one here, we have another one here, we have two here, we have one here, and that's it. So three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So this can really be simplified into C8. Let's do the same thing for the hydrogen. So we have seven hydrogen here, we have one here, one here, one here, five here, two here, <laughs> and one here. So let's, let's see, seven, eight, nine, 10, 10 plus five is 15, 16, 17, 18. So this is H18. And then now just to grab all the high, the oxygen, I have one here, I have one here, there's only two, so this would be O2. So basically I can now delete this beautiful little, little thing right here and just say that this is C8H18O2 plus O2 yields CO2 plus H2O. Now let's write down all the elements that we have, shall we? I have eight Cs, so eight. I have 18 hydrogens, and I have two plus two, a total of four oxygens on the left side. On the right side, I just have a C. There's no subscript, so that means that I have one carbon. I have two hydrogens, so I have two here. And then for the oxygens, there's also two spots here, so two plus one. Two plus one is a total of three oxygens. Okay, let's start from the top and work our way down. I wanna balance one and eight. Always go from the lower number to the higher number by multiplication. 1 times what will get me to 8? Yeah, 1 times 8. And the number that we stated, in this case it was 8, is going to be this, the coefficient for the compound that has the carbon. So I'm going to put an 8 here. But now you got to be fair. So I'm going to distribute the 8 to the carbon and the oxygen. So I have 8 carbon. But now how many total oxygens do I have? 8 times 2 is uh, 16 plus one lonely oxygen, so plus one. 16 plus one is 17. Okay, so I have 17 oxygen. Now let's keep going. Let's work with the hydrogen. Two times what will get me to 18? Two times nine. And that number that you stated goes in front of the compound that has the H in it. So I'm going to put a nine here. But you got to be fair, got to distribute that nine to both the hydrogen and the oxygen. So nine times two is the 18. So there's that. But then now let's just regroup with the oxygen, right? Oxygen here and here. Eight times two, which was 16, plus, plus nine. So 16 plus nine is 25. Looks good to me. So now I have 25 oxygen. Okay. So now let's balance the oxygen. Now this is gonna be a little tricky guys, right? Because I have four on this side and I wanna get to 25. There's no number that I can multiply by four to get to 25, that's a whole number. So we're gonna use a little bit of algebra here. We're going to think of this as a algebraic equation. Now I know that I wanna put my number right here, right? I don't know what number it is, so I'm gonna label it X. I can't put the number in front of here because then all of these carbon and hydrogen, they're gonna change. But there's two oxygens coming from here, so two plus, plus 
two times what? Two times x will get me to the total on this side was 25. Let's solve for x, right? And if we just do this quickly, you want to get x by itself. You get 2x equals 23 divided by 2 divided by 2. You get x equals 23 over 2. Now, this is going to be the number that is hanging out right here. So I'm going to have 23, and let me maybe do that in blue. I have 23 over 2, but there's a catch. You can never leave a balanced equation with a fraction. So whenever you have a fraction, all you're going to do is you're going to multiply the entire equation by the denominator. In this case, I'm going to multiply every coefficient by 2. So all the coefficients are going to change, right? Because basically 2, whoop, 2 times 23 over 2, the 2s will cancel. And now you're just left with the whole number of 23. So let's get to it. There was a 1 here, right? So 2 times 1 is just a 2. So I'm going to put a 2 in front of here. And actually, I think I'll just do that. 2 times 23 over 2 is now just 23. So now I have just the whole number 23. 2 times 8 is 16. So I put a 16 there. And then 2 times 9 is 18. So I get rid of the 9, I put an 18. And now everything is balanced. And that is your final balanced equation. Okay? So, guys, hopefully this helped. The balanced equation is 2C8H18O2 plus 23O2 yields 16CO2s plus 18H2Os. Thank you so much for viewing the video. I really hope this helped. Let me know in the comments, okay? I hope you're having a great day, and let's keep studying hard. I'll see you in the next lesson. Bye-bye.